What is going on, my fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here. In today's video, we are checking out the legendary Tekka Gator and the Sun Gator. Of course, if you guys enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. We'll be describing where to find both of these gators. And then hopefully in a future video, I'll showcase how to get these gators as it's going to be more than just what we're currently showing. So let me drop some solid information for you guys because there's been a lot of confusion in this space when it comes to legendary animals in Red Dead Online. And hopefully I can provide the answers you guys are looking for. As you guys know in the most recent update, Rockstar made some major changes to the animals of Red Dead Online. A lot of reason why players stopped playing Red Dead Online to begin with was because of the lack of animals. And as of recently, Rockstar's done a fantastic job reintroducing animals to Red Dead Online. As you guys can see, every single little like line of like smoke or air or steam that's coming from this water is an alligator. For whatever reason, all like the whole swamp area is littered with gators. Like there is so many gators that you could farm if you really wanted to. There's like seven or eight on our screen right now, which is way more than we would have ever received even like six months ago. You would get lucky if you found two in the water. All the swamp areas surrounding this lady, you can find tons and tons and tons of gators. With that said, the brand new legendary gators are not easy to find. But the reason for that is because they currently give 50% extra XP and 50% extra money until i believe august 10th if you are a legendary hunter and you want to you know find all the legendary animals in this video i'll showcase where these two animals can be found both gators are in two completely different locations and they are found at two completely different times and weather conditions so if you guys enjoy the video be sure to drop a like show that love to the channel we're almost at 500,000 subscribers so big thank you to every single one of you guys. So first things first, as you guys know, the swamp area can get a little bit dangerous at night. Like, look at all these animals. What the? Bro, I've never even seen. I got, well, they got turkeys here. What? That is insane. Rocks are to keep up the freaking great work when it comes to these animals. Look, there's like three gators here. There's like, holy, it's insane. I'm so happy there's so many gators. That is so cool. Let's talk about the first gator. Now, the first gator you're gonna find is all the way by Lemoyne. Now you're gonna have to cross the Gatorville a little bit and head to the location I just marked. This spot's gonna have the gators you need to succeed. This is gonna be risky. We gotta we gotta cross. I hope there's not too many gators where I just get thrown off my horse. Go, 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 go. We're good to go, we're good to go. And I just gained, oh my God, I just did my daily challenge. Let's freaking go, baby. Let's freaking go, baby. So we, ah! Guys, please, gators. Oh my God, there's so many gators. Oh my, oh my God. What, look at all these gators. What the hell? There's, okay, thanks, appreciate it. Thanks, I could have died there. Luckily, I didn't die. And as you guys can see, there's a ton of gators here in these swamps. Just right here in front of me alone, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 gators. That is a ton of freaking gators. I don't understand. Now, this spot specifically, though, right here where I'm standing, is the location for the legendary gator. Now, this spot is where the Tekka gator spawns. It's going to be all in, like... Pretty much any surrounding area from where I am right now all the way here. So all this area right here that surrounds the Kamasas River, the Kamasa River. Um, the reason why this is the spot is because in theory, this river is attached to Lagras and this gator surrounds somewhere in this area. So it's somewhere in this vicinity that we've seen reports that this gator exists. But here's the thing. This gator only spawns at a certain time of day, and that is actually at nighttime. Now, this gator specifically spawns after dark during rainy or stormy weather. Now, it has to be dark and it needs to be rainy or stormy. So you need two things. It's like two prerequisites to get this gator. It has to be nighttime, and it also has to be raining and or storming. So that's the only way this gator is gonna spawn. It would be somewhere in this area because this is the swamp land of, um, I guess, the hub of Gatorville. In Florida, it's actually called Gainesville. This is like pretty much like the Everglades of freaking Florida right here, baby. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to wait till nighttime and I'm gonna try to get this legendary gator to spawn and show it to you guys. Ideally, I would like to show you guys in an individual video where we can showcase exactly from the start to finish process because I also wanna show you the Sun Tekka gator location, which we might do as well. So. I'm going to see if I can get the gator to spawn right now as it is approaching nighttime and then we'll see what happens from there. We're going to check the surrounding areas and there is some questions that you guys may have so let me answer them really quickly. First things first, 
Can you find legendary animals in free roam if you are the naturalist role only of level one? Potentially. We don't know a confirmed answer of what that is, whether you need to be level five or one, but we do know in order to get missions for, from Harriet, legendary missions for animals, you have to be level five. And on the newswire in regards to legendary animals, it says that the legendary tech gator should only be approached by the most brave hearted of naturalists or hunters. Assumingly, that says you don't need to have the naturalist role. You could just be a regular player without the role and find legendary animals. Do you need the naturalist role? The way that's read is no, because it uses or hunters on top of that. Uh, do you need to be level one or five? I'm going to assume you should be level five, but I don't know if you need to be level five. I think you may be able to find them at level one. You guys let me know in the comment section. We've had mixed reports. It's it's either or. We don't know. I, I'm level five, so I don't know. I'm like level nine. It's also very easy to get level five. So if you're worried about that, it's very, very easy. So let's just wait for this nighttime to approach and see what happens. Also, while we're waiting for nighttime, I don't know if you guys saw this image, but pretty much there is brand new freaking bow, uh, improved bow variants, which when you get the awesome brand new uh, gators, you can then get a new bow variant, which is pretty dope. So like the most recent update released these antler ones and now we also have this one we can use which is honestly pretty cool rockstar is hopefully going to keep upgrading all the new selections we can have and pick from because dudes i recently saw their earnings call rockstar had or take two about how great take two's been i was thinking about making a whole video about it but regardless the good news is there's going to be a lot more updates coming red deadline and gta 5 online in the next years to come They've had fantastic years in 2020. I think uh, all the crazy apocalyptic stuff that's been going on has been really been helping game sales. They're full steam ahead, dude. It's about to be a really crazy year for Red Dead Online and GTA 5 Online, so look forward to it. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's gonna rain in game either. So most likely we'll not be getting this gator spawn as it needs to be raining, like I said earlier. But regardless, let me take you to where the sun gator spawns, then we can move on to Gus and check out what he currently has for sale in this most recent update. Yeah, the... Um the night gator is somewhere in this area. It's like here, like all in this area. So we've arrived in the vicinity of the second alligator spawn. The sun tech gator spawns somewhere in this region. Now he spawns by the Lan Lanahatchee River. Oh, anywhere over here. Most likely all these animals, especially the legendary ones, will not be in the water. Similar to how it was in single player, the legendary gator is one that roams on the land. The reason for this is because, as you guys know, it's really annoying to kill animals in the water. And if they're just swimming around, it's not fun. So most likely all these animals will be somewhere on these little islands just walking around roaming. Now in order to find these animals, there will be a little notification on your minimap that showcases a yellow paw that resembles a legendary animal is in the area once you start it it sort of starts like a mission that activates a free roam event for you only once you do that then you can use the legendary pheromones if you want to to find the location of the legendary gator as it is in the vicinity now but if you use legendary pheromones before you see the little paw to my knowledge it does not enhance the chance of you finding the legendary gator on top of that the sun gator needs to be found at a specific time like earlier, I discussed how the nighttime gator, the tech gator needs to be found during night, dark hours, and it needs to be rainy and or storming. Right now it's nighttime, but it's not raining or storming, so the tech gator wasn't gonna spawn. And right now, of course, the sun gator is not gonna spawn either because it's not daytime. But these are the times to find the sun gator. The sun gator only spawns during foggy morning to increase your chances of, of sighting this alligator, what Rockstar says. It is pretty foggy right now, and in theory, it is still nighttime. Potentially, we could see the sun gator in the morning of this playthrough. I'm gonna wait till morning to see if we can get it. Uh, regardless, this is the location. Now you guys have all the information needed to go out and find it yourself. I know many of you guys are probably out here hunting for this gator and we're confused on why you can't find it. It's because it needs to be time specific. All these legendary animals are time specific and we are slowly collecting more information on what times these animals do spawn. But if you guys open your legendary map, you'll notice there are two gators in these two areas, and those are exactly the two gators that we're looking for, as um, it's definitely been a wild ride with all these legendary animals. Ideally, here on the channel, I want to unlock all legendary animals for you and showcase to you all of them with the times and everything you need to do to unlock them yourselves, not through the missions, just through free roam, which I believe they're more fun that way, because you can get the missions from Harriet. As an example, you get the elk one from her, and I believe the, the fox. I'm not sure if she also does all the other animals 
or those need to be done in free roam. On top of that, you can always decide whether or not you want to take the legendary animal samples or skins to Gus or Harriet. Just so you guys know, most of the uh, skins you get from the legendary animals are pretty dope. My recommendation is always go ahead and do the samples first, then take the skins to Gus afterwards. After you've done it once through Harriet, just so you keep on good terms with her because it's honestly annoying to not be on good terms with her because she's just so annoying. She is literally just a walking, talking crackhead. Regardless, or let's wait really quickly for daytime and see if it's foggy. If it's not, then we'll see what happens. So this guy's over here hunting the regular gators, which I think might throw off a spawn because there's too many people in the area. Uh, it won't give it time to spawn. So we'll see what happens here. Oh, it's a modder. I was wondering, like, where the hell this guy just came from. But now it makes sense. Now we're for sure not getting Legendary Gator. Not a chance. Unfortunately, it's not possible. But, um, as you guys know, Red Dead Alliance has a bit of a modder problem. Just a little bit. Sometimes uh, it's a little broken, but regardless, hopefully I can find the Sun Gator and the legendary the legendary Gators for you guys in a video uh, this week because I just got kicked offline. It sounds like I think my game just crashed. So yeah, I think that's a good that's a good way to wrap up the video. Of course, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like. If you're new, right here, hit the subscribe button, click here or here to go watch the next video. Big thanks to the modders are always ruining GTA Online, Red Dead Online because you guys have no lives and your parents hate you and your family also wants to kill you. Regardless, have a great one, guys. Click here to watch the next video. Bye.